Hi, this is Greg Fox from Fox Family Heating and Air. One of my goals on this channel is to bring up and coming technicians, existing technicians, and even aspiring business owners some insight into the more personal side of HVAC and other blue collar service industries. One of my longtime viewers, an instructor in the HVAC field, David Melendez, wanted me to discuss a topic that we felt should be a no brainer for any job. Today I'm going to give you nine ways that you can come across more professional at your job so that you can hang on to it for many years. We've been using House Call Pro since 2016. We needed something that would let us schedule our appointments, give our text directions to our customers through Google Maps, write up estimates, send invoices, collect payment, and integrate with QuickBooks Online. But they do so much more than that too. We researched over a dozen software programs and found that their price was less than half of the bigger CRMs. House Call Pro is by far the most user-friendly for our technicians in the field too. We were able to go completely paperless and start creating professional looking estimates and invoices with our logo. House Call Pro automatically sends appointment reminders the day before the job, lets them know when we're on the way and when the call is finished. Get a free demo of the number one app for home service pros by clicking on housecallpro.com forward slash foxfamily in the description below this video. That's housecallpro.com forward slash foxfamily. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. The way you carry yourself, the way you speak to others, and the way you look each day shows your level of professionalism. Look around. It's the people around you that look sharp, seem confident, and have the trust of everyone around them who are the leaders in your workplace. You don't have to be in a management position to be considered a leader within your company either. Leaders will get promoted from within their company or they'll get poached from another company who sees their professionalism. There are just too many blue collar service technicians who are out there getting the job done but leaving the customers and their bosses unsatisfied. Here are nine ways to make yourself come across more professional in today's workplace. Be the eager person you were when you got hired. Try not to get complacent with your job. People get hired because they make promises to the company that they're going to do this and they're really looking forward to doing that. Once they get hired, the fizz on top of their soda runs out and it seems like people start taking things for granted. Looking forward in your career, you're always showing your customers and your supervisors why they should keep choosing you for the next job. Be organized. Keeping your service or install van looking organized and clean is one of the best ways to come across more professional. Any supervisor is going to remember who has the dirtiest vans and who has the cleanest vans. Those with clean, organized vans will be recognized by their peers too. They may see your van's dashboard wiped down each week with armor all, and they may see that it's been washed once a week too. Having a place for everything in your van is definitely the way to go. There are bins and toolboxes that you can get at the store to do this too. Work smarter and not harder. Having a clean van means that you can find things easier, which makes you more efficient. One of the best pieces of advice that I can give you when working on jobs is to be as efficient as you can with your moves. If you're going to go to your service area to start your job, bring something with you that you might need on a later step. And if you're going back to the truck to get a part, bring something back with you that you're not using anymore. Installers and service techs can save so much time if they would consolidate their steps. Meaning, if you know you're going to need your recovery machine early on in your procedure, bring the other stuff you need too, like an extension cord and the recovery tank. If you have a free hand when you're walking back and forth to your service area, you're probably not being as efficient as you could. Admit when you're wrong. Nothing shows integrity more than holding yourself accountable for your actions. No understanding company is going to fire you if you mess up and you're honest with them. Dishonesty is probably the quickest way to get let go from your company because if they can't trust you, then why are you even there? Be on time for work and meetings. When the boss says we have a training session at 7 a.m. on Wednesday, you should be inside that building or sitting in your van waiting to go in at least 10 minutes before. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but not being on time screams unprofessionalism on your behalf. If you want to make your instructor or supervisor feel like they're not important, just keep on being late. You'll soon have some other place to work that you can be late to. Dress to impress. Those of us in the service industry usually have jobs where we get dirty during the day. 
Most companies know this and are more lenient with your dress as the day goes along. You may have to crawl through the attic to run a new electrical circuit. You may have to go under the house to reconnect a duct or repair a pipe. I'm proud of my technicians when I see them getting dirty as their workday goes along. That means that they're working hard and they're going into places that they should be to get the job done thoroughly. Having said that, you're going to always want to be your sharpest looking first thing in the morning, having your hair brushed, your boots on, with clean pants and a clean shirt shows a lot of professionalism. Always know that people are looking at you every day and they're making an opinion of you whether you realize it or not. Be reliable. Professionals are reliable. People know that they can count on you to be there if you do it regularly. On the work site, being available for your coworkers will earn you a ton of respect. If you can step in and help someone in a time of need, your peers and everyone else will know it. Always improving your skills by reading material and getting more specialty tools to make your job easier will make you more reliable too. If you're not showing your coworkers and company this, it can come across as you not wanting to be there, not wanting to improve, and not wanting to be counted on. If you're the person on your team that surprises people with unwanted or outlandish acts, you'll soon realize that nobody wants to work with you anymore. Confidence. Those of you who are more confident at work will be more successful. Confidence is all about knowing what you can do and doing it well. It's about being able to tell your boss, yeah, I can do that. To be able to take an assignment and do it well takes a lot of pressure off your supervisors. Do that over and over and you'll be on your way up the ladder too. Speak up. People who are confident speak up more than others. If something doesn't make sense or come across clearly, confident people don't shy away from saying something. I'm not saying if a company's policy doesn't sound right, you should stand up and object in front of everybody in the room, but you could certainly raise your hand and be called on and respectfully say what you're thinking. I've always been that person. It's not rude and it's not done to try to get a rise out of everybody sitting in the room either. It's actually a leadership quality to play the devil's advocate sometimes so that all sides are considered. Once again, if you carry yourself well, communicate well, look sharp, and you're reliable, you're going to go far in any company, even if it's your own. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right, and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.